What's poppin' snake gang? How you guys doing, man? First and foremost, I hope you guys are having a great whatever the it is. But I just want to say it's been a long time since I posted one of these. I have been so busy. I got my own house now, so you know shit's been kind of crazy. Had to like get all the furniture in, had to do all kinds of different stuff. Been really busy with that. Been working with VIP. Just just been really busy lately. Really, really busy. So with that being said, man, these vlogs are gonna be changing too. So starting next week, when I post the episode, it's gonna be like a real life vlog vlog. Like everything I do, if I'm partying, y'all gonna be with me. If I'm fucking driving the Rolls Royce around town, you're gonna be with me. <coughs> if I got a little baddie coming over or something like that, y'all gonna be there for that shit too. You know what I'm saying? So no, but all jokes aside. Side, man, you know your boy's single, so I'm kind of just chilling right now, kicking it. You know, just gonna try to have fun, play around. You know, not I didn't mean when I, blah, 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 blah. I didn't mean play around like that. I meant play around like with the charts and shit. <laughs> no, on a serious note, it has been a while. This was pre-recorded like four weeks ago, I believe. So it's gonna be really out of date. I'm not even living in this house in the fucking vlog or anything like that. We did murder gold, so you know, kind of want to show you guys those trades, stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the video. Yo, what is poppin' snake gang? First and foremost, hope you guys are all having a great day. I know that, you know, the last couple months have just been insane with the whole coronavirus and it's hard to stay positive, but just try to stay positive. Remember that you can always get better and just don't ever give up with trading, man. Keep taking this shit to the next level because not only do I believe in you, but I know deep down you believe in yourself. So you really just gotta push, 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 and one day you will be successful and you won't have to worry about no nine to five job. I promise you, man, if you really put your heart into it, you can get it. And I really believe in you guys. That's why I'm doing this, because I really believe in you guys, truthfully. So, first things first. Ah, look what's back, baby. Our trading phone's back. Long story short, they pretty much said that they took it out of the car because they saw it there and they, you know, they didn't want no one to steal it. Ha. And then, um, you know, didn't say anything to me while I'm sitting there, pissed off, asking where the fuck is my phone? And they don't say anything. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but I'm just glad we got the thing back, man. What I really think it was, though, no, but honestly, what I what I feel like, what I feel like probably happened was because this will happen, honestly. And I promise this is serious. I'm telling you the truth. This is not a lie. This is 100% real. Um, I told the guy I was like, bro, like, listen, I'm about to show you how gangster I am, cuz. And he got all. They all got all scared, bro. I could see like he had peed himself and shit, cuz like I, I'm ripped. Like I'm 280 pounds. I'm like six nine. I was flexing on him like this and my shirt had ripped a little bit and he, they all fucking they ran So I think they were too scared to tell me the phone was there without any further ado Let's just pretty much get into this video man. This is episode 3 Hope you guys have been joining the series so far if you guys want a very very reliable broker that allows $10 deposits Go down below link is down there. if you want to join the free telegram where I send out signals and kind of just show you guys Different trades I'm taking more live style go down below. It's all down there Instagram mom FX trading is all down there I'll update you guys on everything in life and you know, you guys will see some results of students, stuff like that. Just, just, it's all down there, man. Just just click the links down there, man. Without without any further ado, let's get into this video. I'm already looking at this gold setup that I want to take right now, so I don't know why I'm lollygagging. I need to get in this trade before we're too late. And um, I love you guys. All right, guys. So currently, like I said, we're looking at gold. If you look at the H4, we're actually above a channel. We just broke through the top of a channel, and now we're retesting the channel from the top side, kind of just showing a little bit of a... Uh, a support. So if we take our Fibonacci and draw it from this main push to the top, you guys can see that we have started to reject that gold zone. And I think this is time for a perfect buy. So I'm going to go ahead and get in for a buy. I'm going to keep it very, very, very simple and uh, you know, have a tight stop loss just below our 50 or to 618 zone. And then we will just target our highs up in this area just like that. Very, very simple setup, guys. I'm gonna get in for a buy. All right, then, guys, here we go. Get in for that buy. Boom. We officially have bought gold. Our account was at $86 with 46 cents. Gonna see how this one plays out. Unfortunately, oh my God, it zoomed in a bit. So we are getting a very, very late start to the week. It's already Tuesday night. We kind of missed out on, I'd say we'd miss out about 24 hours worth of trading. So nothing crazy. It's not really gonna affect us. But we are going to push to try to grow this account to at least $100 this week so we can kind of hit that first milestone and then we can really start, you know, trading with bigger lots and kind of just have fun with it and just, uh, you know, hopefully hit a thousand soon. But man, I am enjoying this series so much, guys. And I just want to thank you guys for joining me for these for these uh, these episodes because whew, I'm having a lot of fun doing this, man. I know you guys are learning a lot. So 
it's just been it's been amazing man it's been truly truly amazing love you guys man let's just uh monitor this trade see how things go it's looking pretty good so far but you know anything can happen so let's go ahead and wait Yo, what a good ass start to the motherfucking week. We are one for one. I'm already looking for another gold trade, so let me show you guys what I see, and then we're gonna hop in another gold trade right now. Back to back, of course it's the next day, so, you know. Back to back days, trading gold, hopefully making money, but let's look at this. So here's pretty much what I'm seeing on the M30 on gold. I see prices broken above all of these highs, and remember, we're at the top of that channel. So, prices broken above all those highs, and now it's came back to retest those highs as a support, okay? Used to be a resistance, now it's a support, right? Used to be a ceiling, now it's a floor. So I think price is gonna shoot up from this point, continue on this bullish trend because it's already been so bullish. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm looking at, guys. I think that this is a perfect opportunity to buy and um, we're gonna go ahead and get in, so. Boom. So, I made that post about 10 minutes ago, and I think 600 people have already messaged me for a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm doing this for free. Like, I'm not charging anything. I'm literally going to pretty much one-on-one -on -one random people, video chat them for, you know, 5, 10 minutes, maybe less. Let them ask any desired questions that they really have that might put them to the top. And then I'm going to just, you know, answer it for them. Let them know, hey, this is what I do here. This is what I would do here. Whatever their question is. And not only that, I'm going to show you guys the same thing live so you guys can hear their questions and maybe it'll help you guys out in the long run. So, just something cool I thought I'd do while I wait for this trade to take place and, um, you know, maybe help out, give back to the community a little bit because not a lot of Forex traders like to help other people out for free. And I just really want to go overboard and just help all of you guys out for free. So, I'm literally going to one-on-one -on -one random people, get these questions answered, and then, um, you know, hopefully they can really take their thing to the next, ne the next level. And for those of you who did not get your questions answered, at least you guys will see what a lot of people's questions are in general. And you know, you might get a, a gist of what you wanted to hear. So gonna be doing that for the next, you know, maybe hour or so and then tomorrow as well. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But there's a lot of you. I don't know who to choose, but oof. <sighs> yeah, for sure, bro. Uh, <laughs> How you doing, bro? First off, how you doing? So, what would be, like, so my first question would be, like, more so the mental part of it. Like, what keeps, like, what would you say would keep, like, anyone going? Kind of, like, what would be, like, a good point of advice to say, like, you know, obviously, yeah, like, things are going to get hard and, like, to be persistent, but what would be, like, a good kind of, like, word of advice to give? Honestly, bro, when it comes to the mental part, like, you have to understand, like, Forex, bro, like, honestly, 80, 90% of it is mental. Um, you know, once you get your strategy down, like that's cool. Your strategy can be successful, but if you don't have the mental part down, you're not going to be able to apply your strategy and you're not going to be able to hold these trades the way you're supposed to. A lot of people will, um, they'll exit trades early when they shouldn't have, but then, you know, you'll, you, a lot of people will let their trade hit their stop loss, but they won't let their trade hit their take profit. Um, and that's a big, that's a big mess up because at the end of the day, if you're letting it hit your stop loss for 30 pips, but then you're only taking 10 pips because you see you're up you're never gonna be successful. You're always gonna be moving backwards. So not bad, so you take your push from the bottom of the green one, the very, yeah, that one. Take your Fibonacci and bring that to the very top. Boom, and then you would wait for it to come down, reject, and if you look to the left a little bit, go to the top of the red, all that red. So like up a little bit. So pull that up, pull that, that uh, line you just did, pull it up to the top of the red, right there. Down a little bit, yeah, about there. So price could pull back to that zone before shooting up, and that might also be your Fibonacci zone. It could be a 382 or a 50 rejection. So if you want to use your Fibonacci really quick and pull it up, you'll see. What's up, Bamba? How you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, bro. What the hell is happening? Good. So uh, I had I had a question on the uh I had a question on uh sorry, I forgot I can't talk about my sister out there working. So <laughs> I forgot I had a question about uh the signal that you called out last night. I think it was AUD NZD or USD. Odd USD? Or, yeah, that's the one. Or Euro NZD. Euro NZD. Uh, the one that we just won on, right? The last night. Yeah, I think that was it because I had did a diversion. 
Oh uh, yeah, it was a cell, yeah. Um, so I had I had did a, a divergence strategy, but also I did a divergence strategy on the other end, like if like if it, if it wasn't a buy. Okay. But that's what got me confused because if if it was if you like you like you did the divergence on the cell trend, what what made you not do it on the uh? Buy trend okay, I see what you're saying. So, so one of them, so it basically had a sell and a buy. You're saying like it showed both of them. Yeah. It was which one? It was divergence or the Bollinger Bands one, the RSI and Bollinger Bands. No, I put divergence with the Bollinger Bands. Okay, so I mean, honestly, at that point, it would just go off of. So let's say like you know they're disagreeing with each other. One of them saying this, one of them saying this. It, it really comes down to uh, what time frames we're saying what. So if the time frame, uh, if it's an H4, if you have to understand one thing, the um, the H4 and the daily are the most powerful time frames to use. So if let's say the daily and the H4 are saying that it's a sell with divergence or the Bollinger Band strategy, whatever it is, but then you go on the 15 and the hourly and it says it's a buy. Always look at the higher time frames if you're going to make a choice. You know what I'm saying? The higher time frames yeah. are the most powerful time frames. So if the H4 says buy, but the M30 says sell, it's most likely going to be a buy if you're just using those two things. But always look for more confluences. Don't just trade off of one. Or like you know what I'm saying? Don't use just one confirmation anyways. But if let's say you know you, right, you already know. <laughs> What's popping, bro? How you doing? What's up? Man, I just, I just. I just left um IML Academy. Yeah? Yeah. Hey that's that's what's up, bro. I was having I was having trouble um you know getting people and the call outs were shit. Yeah? Yeah, and then I tried out your strategy and I turned a hundred dollars into two hundred and forty. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, in, in a one week. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I put, I set up your Fibonacci. I got trading. That was easy. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Man, bro. Hey, that's what's up, bro. That's what I like to hear, man. Just keep practicing that, then, bro. Just now waking up, bro. We woke up to a monster gold trade that ended up boosting our account a huge percentage, man. Just beautiful. I am a little sad though because we left a lot of money on the table. I sh I kind of told you guys I wanted to hold to a certain point, and as you guys saw with that huge wick, we did make very very large higher highs on smaller time frames, and unfortunately, I just I just held it. I held it for too long. Price came back down a lot. We only caught 100 pips. I know that's a lot of pips on gold, but we were up almost 200 pips and we just, oh, we would have made $70 on it. Uh. Sorry guys, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'm happy with what we got. We're moving forward. Stop calling me Jack Harlow and Post Malone and all these different damn names. Just call me Mamba, bro. Damn, bro, that shit's fucking annoying. I'm just playing, you guys can call me whatever you want. I really don't care, but. All right, guys, we're getting a really late entry right here on gold, but I am going to get in for a buy here. I believe that gold is still going to push to 1900. Uh, we're making this beautiful support. Everything looks really good with gold. We're really, really late on this buy, so I'm going to have my stops just below that little support line, and then we're going to target probably maybe 1900. We'll see, but let's go ahead and get in here and let's see what happens. All right, just place that buy, guys. Gold is just shooting up. We'll see what happens here, man. Like I said, this is a really bad entry, but this is the M5. This is the M5, by the way, so it's not like insanely huge, but you know, gold should continue to rise. But we'll see what happens here, guys. All right, guys. So we might have got a late entry on this, but like I said, price is going to shoot up. We're getting really close to 1,900. I'm gonna take my profit here, about 40 bucks. Boom. All right, guys. Gold is literally getting ready to hit 1,900 right now. We just cashed out on a $39 trade back to back. We are eating off of gold, man. Just eating. But I will say this, make sure you guys are looking at the bigger picture. I knew gold was gonna hit 1900, not from that five minute or the 15 minute entries that I'm looking at, but I looked on the daily and I saw that there's a resistance we still have not hit. We're on a very steep uptrend and then also a little bit of new stuff is kind of important sometimes, 
don't use it that much, but it's kind of good to look at, you know, see what's going on in the US and stuff like that when you're trading. But I knew overall price was going to hit 1900 and it did. And not only that, you know, I found my entry on a smaller time frame. So that's kind of how I'm trading these ways, but these, these ways, that's kind of how I'm trading these setups. So always look at the bigger picture. Don't just look at the little baby setup. Always make sure you're looking to go the right direction. I talk about this in a lot of my uh, Fibonacci videos, stuff like that. So um, go back and watch those videos if you have to, but you know, price about to hit 1900. I'm getting ready to look for sales and then hopefully we can just eat off this pair all week. All right, guys, so we just got our Fibonacci set up on gold. We're looking at the M5. I'm going to go ahead and get in for a sell position. This is going to be a very, very, very small loss if one's taken for a very nice take profit. So let's go ahead and get in for the sell position. Boom. Hopefully this plays out good. If it does, gold is just eating for us. But we have a double top forming in our gold Fibonacci zone. Whew. Looking good, man. And don't forget the H4 is showing that mama strategy is taking place. So... You know, hopefully this is the right entry. Of course, gold could still rock it up a little bit more before shooting down. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but we'll see. All right, guys. Fibonacci, beautiful rejection. We're closing here. $4.37. Wow. That was, that was fast. Literally on the five-minute chart, this happened within five to six minutes. Just got in for a beautiful sell. I saw that Fibonacci get rejected. Obviously, the H4 shows that gold is very, very, very overbought. So I knew we were looking for downside moves. Beautiful. Beautiful trade, putting us at $196.21. All right, guys, we're really out here back to back to back in. We're on a beautiful support line. We're also in that Fibonacci gold zone on odd USD. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in for a buy here and see what happens with this as well. This would be our third trade this morning. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. So we placed the buy on odd USD. We're only going to do a 0.03, $196 count currently. But we're only going to do a 0.03 because of the fact we've been trading a lot this morning and I really don't want to risk too much. And yeah, 0.03 on a odd USD trade is nowhere near as much money kind of risked as 0.03 on a gold trade. You guys know that. If not, now you know. Do not trade 0.03 on a gold and then do the same thing on you know a regular currency pair thinking it's the same because no, gold will tear you apart. It's more volatile, it's worth more. It moves faster. You're gonna see like 20, 30 pit moves within minutes. Just be careful when you trade gold. That's my tip to you guys for today. But with that being said, man, we're gonna see how this plays out. I don't wanna trade anymore. This is my last trade of the morning because it's you know Thursday and we've already taken a shit ton of trades. So, you know, three trades is enough for the morning. Let's relax, see how this plays out. And then tonight, we'll look for another trade that will hopefully put us over that $200 margin because this trade right here is probably only gonna make us about three or $4. But it's okay, because we're only risking a couple bucks. All right, guys, so we're chilling at my mom's house right now. Thought we'd stop by, say hi while we're out here. But I am gonna go ahead and close this trade with a loss. It's not looking so good for us. Trend got broke. You know, the candles closed below. It's just, it's not going to come back. If anything, it's going to retest the trend from the other side. And yeah, it's not looking good. So I'll show you guys. So as you guys can see, we're taking a $9.72 loss. Putting our value of our account at $186 with 19 cents. Regardless of that loss, like we're doing really good this week. I'm very happy with what we're looking at. Um, I'm looking for other setups on gold. Gonna go ahead and wait till tonight to kind of enter on those. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys this episode that like you can look at one, maybe two pairs and just eat off of those literally consistently. You look at a couple pairs, maybe two, three pairs, instead of looking at all these different pairs, you're gonna get too confused. Only study a few pairs and like, you guys want some pairs that are good? I'll give you a couple tips. GBP JPY, Euro NZD is amazing, USD JPY, SPX, and gold. Those are beautiful, beautiful pairs to look at. There's another little tip for you guys. Man, I give you guys a lot of fucking valuable content. Holy shit. Let me tell you guys something, man. As a successful trader, there is no reason for me to not give you guys content for free. There's no reason. I made it. I worked my ass off to get here and I made it. So the least that you guys can do for me, since I'm giving you all this info for free, is really put in your hard earned time and work and dedication and sweat, blood, tears. I need you guys to really want this more than you want to sleep at night. Seriously, like this is not just one of those little motivational talks where I'm just gonna you know, make a joke at the end, like I'm being serious at this point. You really gotta put 
everything on the line for this because one day you're going to be working from your goddamn home. You know what I'm saying? Being able to homeschool your kids or whatever you want to do, it's your choice, of course. Ferraris, Lamborghinis, whatever you want. All that stuff is great. It's amazing. But you're never going to get there if you do not put in the work, the heart, I mean the heart, the dedication, all of that shit you have to put in. It's not going to come easy, guys. This shit is not easy. If you knew how stressed I was learning this shit and how fucking hurt I was when I wasn't succeeding right away, you'd know. So stop taking this as a joke. Stop taking this as a game. Put your fucking heart on the line and learn this shit so that way one, two years from now, you can sit back, enjoy your fucking life, and watch the money come in. Seriously. I love you guys, man. I really want you guys to succeed. So, you know work hard seriously you guys have been you guys have been really really making me proud really fucking proud the you know the messages i get on instagram stuff like that it's it's a beautiful thing it's really beautiful to see you guys growing these small accounts like crazy just using my strategies you know and you know you guys are dedicated those people that send me stuff like that they're dedicated they work very hard so keep on doing that man i'm, I'm fucking proud of you guys but let's wait till the london session later tonight and see if we can catch one more gold trade before the week's over because it's already Thursday, but I hope we can catch one more trade. I want to try to push for $200, but we'll see. I don't want to push nothing too crazy. If there's no setups, I will not trade. One thing you have to know. I'll see you guys tonight. Alright, so then, Snake Gang, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I just want to say I'm done taking breaks. I'm not going to leave you guys no more. I'm going to keep posting every single week these episodes until we finish the series off. And then we hop back into the other series, which was $100 to 10K Challenge. We'll get on that one as well. Other than that, you know, I'm just going to keep posting videos, doing my thing. Like I said, next week, vlogs are really going to be vlogs more so. Um, and I'm, I'm talking about the, the challenge. It's gonna be more vlog styled. You're really gonna see every day what it's like for a real life trader to trade. And then, you know, just kind of see what it looks like in their everyday life. I think it's fun. I think you guys enjoy stuff like that. And that's why I'm doing it. No more breaks. I'm back. I'm seriously, I'm back. You have my word. Let's keep grinding out. Let's keep learning. And together, I want all of you guys to be successful traders within the next year. And yeah, I have major goals for you guys. I'm gonna keep putting out content to help you guys get there, okay? So, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.